Oh boy, it's hard to breathe in this thing. Oh, it's really hot in here. Oh, oh it's better. Come on, baby. Baby. Baby! I've lost my baby! Oh, thank goodness you're here. Come, child. Why do I have to be the baby? Stay in character. Be the baby, why do I? Come on. Come on, keep up. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Joe, baby. And you just got Joe rolled. Whoa! Hey, hey, hold on a second. What is going on? Yeah, what are you doing here, Joel? Yeah. Oh, come on, it's your favorite guest. Is that any way to treat me? I come on, baby, I'm here. Might as well make the best of it. It's time for somebody who trolls stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, who are you and what do you troll? My name is Joel, and I troll stooges on the internet and also to their faces, like this guy's face. You know, it looks like a, a plastic um, orange balloon. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's bad. Uh, what can we do for you, Joel? There's nothing you can do because you're not. You don't have a... You can't. I rule. What was that? Yeah, I... Oh, well, you know, of course, Brandon doesn't get my insult because you don't, you, you have a, you know, if you read a, your, your brain, your, your brain is so smooth, knowledge. Uh, you're usually a lot quicker with the put downs, Joel. What's going on with you today? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Normal Joel here. Unlike the two of you who are not. Cool. <laughs> you still got it, Joel. You still got it, my friend. Are you okay? Fine. Fine. You know, fine. I'll talk about it. <sighs> I, I thought he was going to talk about it. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. The air bill has been... You know how I like snakes, right? I did not know that. Yeah. Well, what in the world's going on? Should we cut? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh... Okay, I don't think he's coming back, so. No, uh... don't eat that. Come on. Eat this. Come here. Ah! I do. This is Jerry. You want to say hi? Hi! Hi! Uh-uh. Hello, Jerry. Anyway. Lately, I've been thinking Jerry could use a snake buddy with him in his habitat. So I went online and I found this little guy. I got a great deal on him. Only $250. Oh, is that good? Of course it's good. Mm. You think I wouldn't do my research? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I bought it. And then I waited seven to 10 business days for it to be delivered. Mm -hmm. And then today, guess what? What? I got a package in the mail. Here. Hold this. Oh, I don't Hold want to. Okay. <laughs> you want to? No, 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 no. No, right. no. I, I, oh, no, I cannot look. <laughs> See? It's a picture. Yes. Oh. That's what I paid for. $250, not for a snake, but for a picture okay. of a snake. Mm. It's not fair. I was tricked. Yeah. Um, here, can you... Do you mind? Jerry, be nice to him. He's being nice. Come it's fine. Here. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry that someone, you know, cheated you out of your money, Joel. That was... Yeah. It's got me out of my rhythm. I can't even troll the two of you. I mean, people who don't do stuff good. Ah! So, so, wait a minute. You're upset because someone on the internet treated you unfairly? Yeah? So? Well, isn't that just, isn't that what you do? You know, you troll people on the internet? What's your point? Uh, nothing, nothing, no point, no point, no I point. I think what John is trying to say is that maybe 
now you understand what it feels like to be, you know, bullied. Well, I just thought that Jerry could use a friend. I guess, I guess I could use one too. All right, look, you guys, you guys stay here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a phone call and uh, see if I can get your money back. Who makes phone calls anymore? You know, you try writing a letter, you could send it by carrier pigeon. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Whatever. Well, since he's gone, <sighs> what's next? Something boring, I bet. Uh, no, actually, uh, the next part of our show isn't boring at all, and thankfully there are no snakes. Mm. Uh, where's, the, where's the snake? Where's Jerry? Oh, uh, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> he does this. Oh, uh, then, then it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey, Joel. What's that? You see a snake where you are, Kellen? No. Why? No reason. Uh, what, are, what are we talking about today? We're talking about Nehemiah, who you may remember took the initiative to repair the broken down walls of the city of Jerusalem. But the walls weren't the only thing in the city that was broken. Nehemiah saw that some people in Jerusalem were being mistreated, and he knew that something had to be done about it. What is... Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, they didn't have courtrooms like this at biblical times. I know, just watch. Oh. All right. I saw everything that was going on, and I'm furious about it. But I want to make sure you have the opportunity to explain it to me in your own words. Um, okay, sir. So, um, the king's taxes are really driving people into the ground. Um, we've lost all our money. We can't even afford to feed our sons and daughters. Don't you have fields? Vineyards? Can't you grow your own food? Well, we... we we had to sell our fields and vineyards to pay our taxes. And we had to borrow the money from them. What can I say? I'm a giver. You're charging us interest. So it's my money. Don't I have the right to charge interest? Just in case you don't know what interest is, it works like this. Someone might let you borrow $5 now, but only if you agree to pay them seven dollars later. That extra two dollars, well that is interest. Hey, okay! So you're charging the people interest. Don't you see how bad a time they're having? Hey, it's not my fault that they don't have the cash they need to keep their fields. Oh, so you took their fields. I did. And their vineyards. But hey, I feel for the people. I mean, they're my cousins. They're your own family? Does that seem fair to you? Well, I don't know, maybe. We've had to sell our sons and daughters into slavery. We had nothing left to give. What's the matter with you? Hmm? Yeah. These people are in need, and you're taking advantage of them when they're at their lowest? Well, I, I see that, I, but I... Our Jewish brothers and sisters know what it's like to be sold into slavery. We, we went through so much to bring them back, and now you're forcing your own people right back into it. But Judge... These people need help. You should be lending them money. That's a good thing. I'm lending them money and grain, and so is my family. But we should not be charging interest. It's the right thing to do, 
in this situation, I find in favor of the plaintiff. You will give the citizens their fields and vineyards back. All loans will be repaid with no interest. So I'm going to clean up my papers. Nehemiah saw people being treated unfairly and he stood up for them. And as followers of Jesus, we also need to be on the lookout for opportunities to do good and to love others. It's the right thing to do. See you next time. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Yeah, that was a lot less time wasty e than I anticipated. I got it. You got my money back? Yep, should be in your account now. Yeah. How did you do that so quickly? Uh, well, I just, it turns out that a little kindness goes a long way. Ah. Well, um, uh, uh, three, three, four, think, th what is this? Are you trying to say thank you? I've never done this before. Give me a break. Thank you up. You're welcome. Also, you smell like onions. Wait, 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 don't go! Oh, no, yeah, you forgot your pick. Sure. Hmm. Why are you sitting on the desk? And Jerry's loose. All right. <sighs> Reveal the question. Today's question is, who do you see being treated unfairly? Yeah, is there someone you know that other people make fun of because they're different? Maybe they don't have the cool clothes or have a different accent or something? Or is there someone you might be treating unfairly, like a little brother or sister? Yeah, take the initiative and stand up for someone when they're being mistreated. Mm -hmm. You'd want someone to do that for you. Yeah, and if you know how to catch snakes, yes, please stand up for us right now. Yes, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. What are we going to do? Stay here all week. Okay, I'm down with that. All right. Wait. Can snakes climb desks? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I think he's gone. Jerry. You sure he's gone? Yeah. I don't see him. You guys okay. see him? Hey, hey. Oh, that's Okay. That's, I, I think he's gone. He's fine. All right, great. He won't be here. Man, if that thing got anywhere near here. me, I would freak Stay out. out there. Buddy, thank goodness, you'll be fine.